my name is Dr. Ian Dunbar. In this program we're going to look at dog trainers around the world. Welcome to World's Dog Trainer. I believe that Germany is the most dog-friendly country. You can bring your dog to the restaurants, bookshops, CD shops, even glassware shops welcome your dog. There are many parks where you can enjoy a walk with your dog off leash. But if you want to do this, of course you have to socialize and train your dog well in advance. Together with my wedge corgi Charlie, I visited a dog school in Germany called Hundeschule Aschaffenburg. The continuous training of off-leash walking and socialization with other dogs were very impressive and enjoyable. The United States is a huge country, so the lifestyles of dogs and their people are so different from place to place. Here in Texas, dogs can enjoy big dog parks if they are well socialized. It is not so common to go to the restaurants or cafes with the dogs, but there are some events you can go with your dog and I see many people sharing good time with their dogs. These are my Tavern Hugo and his litter mates when they were 40 days and 50 days old. I believe the socialization is most important things we could do for the puppies and young dogs. Puppies are living in a small world at early stage, but if they are going to share the time with us, it is our responsibility to introduce the puppies how our life is. They should have a chance to explore the world and gain confidence to live in this world. Puppies should have chance to play with litter mates, with good adult dogs, meet other animals, meet many people. If you have only limited time, maybe outsourcing the socialization might be a solution because you have no time to waste. For the socialization, attending a puppy class is always a good idea.
If we train our dogs, we shouldn't expect that dogs understand our language, but body language tells a lot. We just rule and reward. It's so simple and clear. If you are going to teach your dog new behavior, have a treat in your hand, put your hand close to your dog's nose so that your dog can sniff, lure your dog's nose to the position so that the dog will do the action you wish. If you want the dogs to sit, lure so that your dog's nose goes up. Automatically, your dog's bottom goes down. If you want down after sit, lure your dog's nose slowly to the ground. Your dog will follow your hand and will be in down position. Reward at the timing when the dog goes to the position you wish. With lure and reward based training, you can teach basic behaviors like sit, down, come, but you can also teach many tricks. It's so fun to teach dogs new things and you will see that dogs also enjoy to learn new things. Every time before we start teaching something to the dogs, we have to understand the culture and lifestyle in which the dog owner is living. Finally, we should teach the dogs the things which make the life of dogs and their owner easier. The wonderful thing of lure and reward based training is that this is very clear and fun game for every dog in the world. Socialization and training make happy, smiling face of dog and their people and I love to see such faces. Thank you for watching my movie.